everybody. Good day. I hope you are having a wonderful day. This is your weekend reading. I've got three Linamon decks, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, and an Oracle deck. Remember that the energy can flow throughout the weekend from Friday, as Friday is already the beginning of the weekend. So take it from Friday night, so around five o'clock. That's when the weekend begins, as a lot of offices close at five o'clock. So I'm going to try that and see whether it resonates with you. Let me know. <clears throat> I hope it is beautiful weather. Today is beautiful weather, but cold here. So dress warmly and here we go. If you're new, please subscribe, hit the button and hit the bell. Then you'll be notified when new videos are loaded up. And please, please join us in the live sessions. I go live every evening, sometimes during the lunchtime, as I'm trying to reach all my cyber angels. Also, because of the time difference in India, America, China, Australia. So, if you would like to become a cyber angel, then please um, hit the bell. And also, remember, you can visit the um, website and just click on that little white dot here and it will take you through to the website. There's also more information underneath this video. So let's get started with Capricorn. Capricorn, you've got the house and the house means security, safety, protection and that is what you know. So don't isolate yourself. Um, open that door to friends and family um, go out there and mingle so come on come out of that house and mingle make friends join a club uh, invite friends or family over for a dinner that is on Friday on Saturday you have the well and the well means you can do a wish but you might need more information with regard to a situation or a question perhaps something in the family because home does represent family as well on Sunday you have a child and look at this you've got number 13 now I didn't take any other numbers but because this one jumps out number 13 means friendship fellowship in the I Ching there might be a new friendship, there might be a new beginning, you might be hearing of a birth. This could be of a child or this could be of a work or a study. A child has to learn playingly or play uh, whilst they're playing, so be more playful. Learn things in a playful manner. That will also be easier because it's more joyous, then you'll remember it much easier. Perhaps you want to start a study and you need more information about which school or college you want to join. It could also mean a new job. Okay, and for the angel for the weekend, you have the situation will improve. That is the answer of the angel. Like I said, you need more information. So there you go. Ask a family member about it. Perhaps your mother or father can give you wise advice on a question. Now we are going to Aquarius. Aquarius, you have the moon. And the moon means that your uh, uh, spirituality, that is your uh, inner peace, also your faith and you're trusting yourself and others, your intuition, your, your thoughts, your spiritual thoughts, your beliefs are very sensitive or might be heightened at this moment, especially in this Mercury retrograde. Don't sign anything until the 14th of March and be aware that computers or electrical things can go wrong or give you a headache. Okay, you are on the right path, but you do need more information with regard to a situation or an issue as it is illuminated and you are in the spotlight. A Pisces might have an eye on you. Okay, and Pisces might even give you spiritual uh, counselling or spiritual advice as Pisces 
is psychic usually and very spiritual and sensitive. After all, they are the water sign. And the second card for Saturday, you have the ring. This means that you could have a bond with a cancer. You might have get a new friendship. As the moon, you've got the full moon and you've got the ending of the waning moon. So um, you've got the full moon and the new moon. The full moon is the end of a cycle. So you might meet somebody at the full moon, the end of the cycle or a new moon. And this partnership could be awesome, but you need more information. It could also be a start because we've got the ace here. Okay, and number 25 is uh, seven. So you've got luck on your side. You are moving perhaps, perhaps you're moving in with a cancer over the weekend. This is the Sunday card. And like I said, there is an ending and a new beginning because the ship means that the abundance of love or money will be coming in. You might be going on holiday, uh, you might be traveling over water, you might be moving and from one state to the next or one town to another, and you might have to cross water as well. It might be with a little boat or it could be across a bridge. The answers for the, of the angels is in the near future. Look at them and you've got two here. So you might be in the near future partnering up if it isn't this weekend because you are meeting somebody this weekend. Okay, Aquarius, that is your reading for the weekend. Now we're going to the uh, Pisces and you have the mice. The mice basically means so you have, could have lost something or somebody has stolen something from you. Perhaps your heart, perhaps something material. But mice also means busy, busy, busy. So if you are stressed out, ask for help if you can. Because many hands make light work. They work in groups. So work in groups and learn to delegate. Okay, don't let something keep on gnawing at you. Don't go uh, sit in your mind and think, oh, I've got this deadline, I've got this deadline. Ask for help, ask for advice. That is on Friday, on Saturday, you have the magnifying glass. If you're signing contracts, wait until the 14th of March. But if you really have to, then um, get it checked out. You need more information. If you are traveling, have a look if your itinerary is up to date and there's no delays. Um, and whether it's the right uh, card, the right map, the road map, if you are going by car. That could be on Saturday. On Sunday, you have the stars. You are in the limelight as well. Something is being illuminated. Perhaps the itinerary, the warning of don't lose your way. Get the right map. Know your way. Ask for advice. And your wish or goal is coming true. This could be when you're traveling or this can be on getting your wish or your goal to fulfillment. So take the action and advice. It is perfect timing. Okay, perfect timing. And you might be meeting an Aquarius. Um, the Aquarius is also the star. That will, that's what came in as well very quickly. The, the star is also represented by Aquarius. So you might be meeting an Aquarius or you might need more information about an Aquarius or an Aqu Aquarius might have taken something from you with them and they didn't realize um, you would miss it. OK, ask them if that is the case. OK, now we're going on to Aries. Aries, you've got the sunshine. The sunshine means new beginnings, going on holiday. They're all moving home. You might be traveling. Um, you might be hearing of a birth of a child or a project. You are in the limelight, the spotlight. The something is being illuminated. So have a look what needs more attention, more research. 
There might be a Leo interested in you, Ooh because you're in the spotlight. This could be an, a potential employer that is a Leo, and they or a headhunter, and they see you how wonderful you are, and such a hard worker and devoted to your work. So, have a look. Your boat is coming in. Like I said, you might be traveling because this is traveling. You could be traveling by airship or by boat and a boat of abundance is coming in. You are above the mountains, so there aren't any problems. You're free to make this pro uh, progression uh, to wherever you want to go. Like I said, it might meet, mean a new job or a promotion, a salary rise. Somebody's been keeping an eye on you. Okay, and on Sunday you have the lady, so you might be meeting a lady, whether you're a lady or a man, you'll be meeting a nurturing person. The cards don't have any sexes, but it is a picture of a lady, so that's more likely to be a female. If not, this could be a male with a nurturing side, that's the feminine side of us. Okay, um... If not, if you're not meeting up with a friend or meeting a new friend, then uh, you might be nurturing yourself by taking time out and doing your nails, your hair, uh, doing your makeup, going on if the shops are open on Sunday in your little town or big town, you might be going out to get things that you, makes you feel beautiful. Um, as the woman stands for beauty, sensuality, love, passion and nurturing. The overall energy and the answer of the uh, angels is romance. You might get romance this weekend, Aries. Ooh, ooh, or you might be going on holiday with a woman. Okay, now we're going over to Taurus and this is your weekend reading. Taurus, you've got the lily. That means good luck in business and in work. You might seek advice from a mature man or a professional. This could be a headmaster, a doctor, um, uh, a, an accountant, a bookkeeper, or a <coughs> lawyer or a jurist. On a Saturday, you have the bunch of flowers. A bunch of flowers means good luck and you might be receiving a gift. If it is with related to work, because it's lying next to the card of work, you might be getting a gift like a pay rise. On Sunday you have the whip and a broom. So you might have disagreements. Somebody doesn't want to listen to you. Look, one of the fairies has got his fingers stuck or her fingers stuck in her ears. There might be somebody that doesn't want to listen, that does not want to communicate and is causing problems, disagreements or arguments. So don't give anybody any ammunition to use against you. Walk away. You've got number 11, so you've got an angel, angel number. The angel number is the porthole that the, the doorway that um, they are giving you. There might be something new on the horizon. It could be a new job, and that's why you needed advice. So perhaps that is the issue at hand, and somebody's trying to stop you, and you don't want to listen. Listen to it, and take away what you can use. Remain positive, remain positive. That's the answer of the angels. That was Taurus. Now we're going on to Gemini. Gemini, this is your card for the weekend. And you've got the star. Wow, I didn't know that, but I'm glad. I'm a gem. I'm glad I've got the star. So there is a wish or a goal coming true. I hope so. It would be nice to reach the 2000. Okay, for Saturday you have the mountain. Don't make mountains out of mole hills. Um, and in some other places it's, it's called don't make um, an elef uh, don't make an elephant from a fly. Also you don't have to climb the mountain. You can walk its path. You can see the deer walking the path. okay? 
so you can take your time unless there is a deadline, but don't make problems where there aren't any. Okay, so think about it, Gemini. You know what it resonates to. If it doesn't, have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign. And wow, you've got the key. You can take your time, but I think you're creative enough to also um, take your time. Even if there is a deadline, uh, you are creative enough to think of an other option, like opening the door to help, opening the door to positive energy, um, asking uh, people, can I ask for help? Um, so that the deadline will be met, be uh, re, uh, resolve the issue or the problem at hand by opening the door to possibilities. You can also close the door to negativity. Okay, and you've got number 33, a double number. That is an angel number. You are back in balance. Wow, strength on Sunday. Some of us have to work on a Sunday, some of us don't. So relax and, you know, if you have to meet a deadline, then do work on Sunday, if that's okay with the rest of the family. And keep the balance and ask your boss if you can work from home. Okay, perhaps you might have your own, uh, your own business and you'll find a solution to keep the balance between the home front and your business. That is a peaceful resolution. Now we're going on to Cancer. Cancer, I hope you're doing well and I hope you've watched your weekly um, and your romance reading. Go and have a look. You've got the first card is a new beginning. You might be learning a new... Uh, so you might start a new course. You might be learning something new in, in a playful manner. In a playful manner means that it is that you're working, you've got an internship, you are learning hands-on, not continu continually in books, but you're learning on hand-on. You're getting the experience and you're learning whilst you're doing it. Awesome. <clears throat> Excuse me, you might find out you're pregnant or you might hear of a birth. This could be of a child or this could be of a new job, a new opportunity. Could also be a new beginning like um, that you're, uh, if you have bought a house that it's gone through. A new beginning is on the horizon. Be more playful, relax a little bit. Okay, don't take anything too serious. Okay, Cancer, and there are still things that you don't know, so I think there will be a study. The book means study. A child means also a new study, but learning it in a playful manner, like hands-on, in the practice. And there might be books next to it. You might have to do some theory as well. But the book means also there is a clock on the book. Take your time if necessary. But remember, the time is of essence to get things done so that you can come to this new beginning. And <clears throat> I'm not doing too much with um, the numbers, only if they speak to me. And this will bring in money because you've got the diamonds and that's pentacles, the ten of pentacles. There is an end of a phase, but there is a new beginning. So once you have finished with learning, you will be able to put this into practice permanently and you might get a wage wise, a new beginning. Wow, Cancer, beautiful, and you're standing in your strength. That's number eight, the house of finance and strength. And on Sunday, there might be arguments. Again, a number 10, so it's signifying, and it is again diamonds. So, um, there you go. Um, it's not the Ten of Diamonds, it's number 10, but it is a diamond card. There might be disagreements, so spare your money if somebody's giving you that advice. Um, yes, um, so uh, if you are moving to a new home, save a little bit for a rainy day or when you're sick. Learn from the advice, but you are cutting with the past. If you are moving home, you are going to a new place. You, you've learned something, you have late gained life experience, 
and knowledge. You've gone through the process on what it is like to buy a home and all the agitations and worries that go around it or starting a new job. And you, you, you know what it is like to go to school, start a job and work like an internship and learn. You have done this before. You'll keep on learning throughout your life. So take action. That is what the angels are saying. Take action. Now we're going on to um, Leo. Leo, for Friday, you have the ship. Your ship is coming in. You might be also going on holiday, crossing water. The ship coming in means that abundance could be coming in. This could be love. This could be uh, also through um, business or work. You might be getting more clients if you've got your own business. If you are at work, there might be a pay rise or a promotion. And we've got the fish here also. Good luck at work. Good luck at work. And you've got the meters touch as you've got the king of tentacles. I'm not doing too much with the signs, only when it really jumps out at me. Um, and you've got luck, you've got 34, so 7. Uh, you can work well in groups, but you must know your boundaries. Because the water has no boundaries, only on land. So know your boundaries, go with the flow, that's what I'm getting to hear now. But delegate, learn to delegate and don't be the one in the group to always do everything. Delegate, know your boundaries, tell uh, third parties that what your boundaries are, so they will respect you. This is how you get respect, telling people directly and straight what and clearly what, what your boundaries are and what you want. There will be a new beginning. Like I said, you might be moving home. Okay, you could be hearing of a birth. This could be of a child or of a project, such as a hobby or a new job. Okay, you have the golden touch, so make it work for you. There could be a 360 degrees turnaround in a situation or an issue. So there we go. It's unlikely that you'll be fired if that is your question. Or is it unlikely that it won't happen? No, it's there in the card. You can afford to go on holiday. It will happen, so don't worry. If you haven't got the finances at the moment, it might take a little bit longer, but you will be able to go because there is a turnaround. Okay, that was for Leo. Now we're going to Virgo. Virgo, you've got the whip, so be careful. And that means arguments, disagreements. Don't give anybody any ammunition to use against you. Just listen um, to what they have to say. Don't go into it and just say, sorry, when you've calmed down, I'll come back. Let me think about it. Talk to the hand, in other words. Don't literally say that because they'll slap you in the face most probably. Okay, Virgo, somebody um, might be saying, you stole this from me or you pinched this from me like a job. That was that job was mine. No, that job wasn't theirs. Uh, the job was uh, then the, the boss, the employer decided you were good enough to get that. So don't let it gnaw at you. OK, um, it could be something that you've lost. Something is gnawing at you um, and mice work in groups. So learn to delegate and learn to ask for help if you can't manage, uh, manage it. So ask for help. Many hands make light work. Um, um, if you've lost something, because it doesn't have to be stolen, um, but that is the basic meaning. But if you've lost something and you can't find it, then don't start arguing uh, or accusing people, but ask the people to help you to try to find it. It could be a, a material thing or it could be something else. Um, you might have forgotten something so that you've lost, you've lost that idea or you've lost the way on how to do something. Well, ask somebody to help you. And on Sunday, you might be getting a visitor. 
or you might be visiting as you have the nine of hearts the nine of cup cups um if i take that then it's a new beginning number one and a nine is an ending but the nine of cups is a wish a wish will be coming true you will be getting news so if you've lost something you might get the news that it is found or where to find it don't let it know okay and um if you have a question will uh, uh, will it uh, will it not return yes the arm um, no, sorry uh, will there be an argument? No, there won't be an argument. So long you handle the situation at hand properly. Okay, Virgo. You don't have to give anybody ammunition, so that's why you most probably won't have a disagreement or an argument. If you ask for help, people are uncertain that people are prepared to help you. People love to be recognised and feel useful. So that, if you ask for help, it uh, doesn't show um, it doesn't show weakness. It shows that you appreciate their advice or their help. Now we're going on to Libra. Libra, you've got the road, and usually it's depicted in other Lenormand decks as the crossroad. So you might uh, have to make a decision or a choice. Okay, and on saturday you have the house now you can see the gate is open but the door is closed so open that front door <laughs> um, not figuratively uh, um, not physically but figuratively go out there and mingle advice uh, uh, ask people to come and visit you Show a little bit of tenderness and love. Don't be afraid to let somebody in. So open your heart, open your solar plex. Um, this, there could be friendships that are built on proper foundations because the house means safety, uh, protection uh, and um, security. So ask friends over, don't isolate yourself. Go out there, become a member of a club or see your friends outside. There could be a reunion on Sunday and you are back in balance. You've got 20, but that will be a two. And this is the garden and the garden means parties like gatherings. Like I said, go out and meet your friends and there will could be reunions. If you haven't seen some friends for a long time, then that is a reunion. There could also be meetings or, or presentations uh, or like a weekend course, like presentations. Um, so go to them and you might meet somebody there um, that you haven't seen for a long time. So trust. Yes, trust. There is safety because you listen to your intuition. And if your intuition is say walk away or no, then don't do it. But make sure you mingle and get yourself out there. You might be networking. That could be also <coughs> your job. So you know what I mean. Now we're going to... I've forgotten again. We're going to Scorpio. Sorry, I do get more into the readings than... Uh, take note sometimes of which star sign I'm reading for. Like I said, I believe in quality and not quantity. Now we're going to Scorpio. Scorpio, you've got good luck. You've got the four of clover. Um, and if you're seeking love, yes, look at you. This could be you looking for luck and love. Then you need to take action as well. You need to go outside and get yourself uh, known as well. Be the beacon. Star, let it be the beacon of love. Show that you are a nurturing, loving, caring person. You, If not, it could be that you might be meeting somebody that is loving and, and nurturing. And this is your lucky time to meet a lady. And the lady, well, you know, it is a lady um, that is prominent, but it could be, if you're a lady, it could also be a man with a loving, nurturing nature. 
a gentle gentleman and you feel safe with him ha uh -huh, look what i've got the house the house so this is a man that will protect you that will um, make you feel safe and he because of his nurturing nature and somehow or rather he could be an air sign because the spades is air or even a water sign and this is number four so like i said stability safety protection you've got the house so don't hide yourself go out there and find your luck okay there will be recovery yes if you go out there and be the beacon of nur nurturing nature love and care then you will draw the attention there will be recovery because they will get to know you so the recovery of loneliness is uh, sorry, you've, you're no longer lonely. You've recovered from your uh, anxieties or your 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 anxious action anxiousness will be. You've recovered from your anxiousness. You'll be able to go out there and not hide yourself. Um, now we're going to Sagittarius. Sagittarius. This is your weekend reading, and this is Friday, so don't don't always see problems where there are none. Don't make mountains out of molehills. Don't make something more out of something that isn't. Okay, just learn to take your time, and you don't have to climb the mountain. You can also walk the path. Don't make a mountain out of a molehill. Don't make an elephant out of a fly. Other people know that saying. And you've got the child new beginnings. This is a new beginning. You might find out you're pregnant or somebody's having a baby. But this could also be a birth of something else. Not only a child, but it could also be of a new job, a new hobby. Um, you'll be playing. Um, you'll be actually learning most probably something not only through books but at hand you'll actually be learning doing something uh, in the practice perhaps an internship and um, you'll be learning hands-on there might be books involved because we've also got a book here but don't build any uh, uh, castles in the sky keep it real don't build any castles in the sky, okay? I don't know whether you can see the castle here. The Barbie castle. Be open, be more playful, and be serious when you need to be serious. Then you've got the fox. Be careful for sly analytical people poisonous people but the fox has got a bad name and really the fox is a, a beautiful and a, a lovely creature but it has got a bad name he's all um, and because they used to hunt foxes um, i'm also getting to hear don't be the hunted be the hunter but don't be hunted so don't let anybody manipulate you or if you know uh, don't let somebody poison your ideas um uh, because he's got this bad reputation that he's sly yes he is very sly but that also shows intelligence um so uh, if somebody is manipulating you you'll know soon enough um, somebody always tries to an be analytical, be, be pre-planned, okay, so that they can uh, put you, manipulate you in such a way. So make sure you're on the right track. Don't make a problem out of it. Just cross your T's and dot your I's. Stay on track and uh, learn, learn to be analytical, but not mean. Um, so that is has to do with work you'll get a lot done and you'll be if you're precise and if you do your work well you'll be rewarded now um so be careful forewarned is forearmed don't make a problem don't be scared of confrontations 
Just be gentle. Like the fox is soft and furry, so just it's like a puddy cat or a dog. So just stroke the, their intentions and their egos. They, the ego is a bad thing, so don't let your ego rule you because you, uh, it will destroy you. Their egos will destroy them. Don't worry about it. What goes round comes round. Will I fail at my study? Will I fail at my new beginning? No, definitely not. That is what it's, the angels are saying. They are giving you a new start. They're giving you an opportunity. The angels and the universe take it with both hands. But avoid difficulties. Don't be sly. Be honest and open like the child. Okay, this was your weekend reading. If it doesn't resonate with you, then look at your moon sign or your rising sign. Be blessed and take care and I'll see you later. Ciao, ciao. Please share and like. Remember, together we stand strong.